Hello again. The Sunday Times carries a piece on its front page today which reveals something which most of us already knew, which is that housing all those thousands of illegal immigrants crossing the English Channel to claim asylum in our country is big business. The bulk of the profit from the current system of housing those people in hotels is not going so much to the owners of the hotels themselves, but rather to the middlemen who make the arrangements by finding the hotels and persuading them to stop hosting wedding receptions and so on, and instead to pack themselves to the gunnels with illegal immigrants. The Sunday Times says that the cost to the taxpayer of hosting one of these characters in a hotel for a single day is between 127 and £148. The hotel itself only gets between £40 and £80 of this money though, and the rest of it is paid to the middlemen who fixed up the deal to get the hotel to take the immigrants. In short, more than half of the fees paid go to these middlemen or fixers. Since the bill for this business is so astronomical, running to perhaps £3 billion a year, this really is big business and fortunes are being made. I thought it would be amusing to see who is making these fortunes out of this crisis and I have a shrewd suspicion that the answer will not come as any great surprise to most people. The people making the most money out of the immigrants are foreign businessmen running companies in this country which profit from the asylum seeker crisis. The Sunday Times named three of these middlemen as Oyo, that's spelled O-Y-O, CB Hotels and Agent H Hotels. I thought it would be interesting to check out who's running those outfits and so in the description to this video I give links to the listings at Companies House. Oyo Hospitality is a big international company. In this country, the directors are listed as Rakesh Kumar, Ayesh Matha, Puni Yadav, Ritesh Agarwal and Rishabh Kumar. All these men are Indians living in India. CB Hotels has one director, a man called Hasib Assam, who is apparently British and lives living in Britain. H&H Hotels has two directors, Hasib Aslam and Hassan Muhammad Arif, also seemingly British. There is something a little odd about this, that Indians and people living in this country whose ancestry lies in the Indian subcontinent should be making a lot of money out of the crisis involving immigration. It may be a coincidence, of course, but as I remarked the other day, it could just be a coincidence that the huge rise in immigration went Rishi Sunak, another man whose ancestry lies in India, became Prime Minister. There may, on the other hand, be some common factor which is worth exploring. 